What's going on? My name's Roman and welcome to Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. On today's episode, we're taking a look at the brand new Jedi Knight Revan. This is a, I believe it's a GameStop exclusive. That was the only place you could pre-order it from. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to get this from a friend who had some extra pre-orders. Um, and it worked out really well because I had uh, extra figures that he was looking for. So we were able to, able to pull off a trade. Um, but I'm really impressed with this guy just right out of the box. So taking a look at it... Um, it is very striking. It looks very different than the black and red Revan. This is more of the rose gold color that was featured a little bit on Revan, but then, um, you know, more of like a coppery brass color, as well as a cream colored cloth goods skirt. And his upper isn't truly white. Um, I have a white figure that we'll compare him to. I know it's kind of hard to see because I'm using the white background, but bear with me. Um, but uh, absolutely fantastic looking figure. Comes with the purple lightsaber. Does not come with the Sith lightsaber, of course, uh, because this is not the Sith version of him. This is the Jedi version of Revan. So taking a look at Revan, we're just going to go from the ground up. So lifting up the skirt, we do have some well-sculpted and good detail over here on the legs. Double jointed knees, we have the foot rocker. Shoe looks really good. Not tread on the bottom, but we do have some information. Uh, the hips do pull out to about that far. There is upper thigh cut, so all the articulation you've come to know and love from Black Series included in this figure. The cloth goods feel really good. It's, it's a thicker material than I think I've felt them use before, uh, so I really do dig that. There is movement at the waist as well as the upper torso, so you get two sections of movement right there, rock side to side, so it's pretty nice. I like the articulation on that. Uh, the arms come out about... That far, of course, hindered by the shoulders on the hood. Comes up about that far, moves back about that far. Uh, there is no upper bicep cut. There is a cut here at the elbow, though, so that works just fine. You get almost 90 out of it. It could be 90 uh, or just about. So it looks really good. There is a swivel or a hinge on this wrist going up and down. And then here's a hinge going in and out. This one works a lot better than the up and down one, the in and out. Uh, details, the sculpt is just fantastic. Uh, of course, this is the same Revan that we've had before, uh, just without this back flowy part, I believe. Uh, but this is an incredible looking figure. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to get now. So just taking a look at the face, closer look at the armor, face sculpt is really nice. There is some limited movement in the head. Move it that far to the right, or to the left, that far to the right, it is kind of hard to move. Um, there isn't any up or down movement. If there is, it's super limited. It's very, very limited. Um, but the sculpt here on the chest is really nice. Uh, you can see the material looks fantastic. We have the rings here on the back of the suit, so the sculpting on the hood as well, sculpting on the arms. This is just an absolutely incredible figure. And here's the lightsaber. We have a green and red button right there. Lightsaber is absolutely gorgeous. It is purple. Let's go ahead and stick this in the hand of Revan. Here we go. Let me focus my camera. The autofocus is being really weird today. But yeah, here is Jedi Revan. This is such a good looking figure. Uh, if you haven't gotten this already, I feel sad for you because it's going to be expensive on the secondary market. Um, I believe anywhere right now, as of the recording of this video, between like 50 and 60 bucks. So try not to go too too expensive on it it's a great figure but by no means is it an sh figure or it's a mezco or a mafex um you're not getting as much really all you get is the lightsaber with this guy but it's just such a good look so let's go ahead and compare him to other black series figures that i have um here is 
the prototype boba and you see there is some difference in the whites here this one a little bit more cream this one a little bit more pure white and you see how they scale up together Boba Fett's just a little bit taller so they do look really good and I will do a, a video on Boba Fett really soon um, but right now it's the Jedi Revan whose face is a little bit hard to see his face is always kind of looking down a little bit um, but this is just such a beautiful figure I can't wait to get like a, a flight stand and pose him up I definitely want him doing some flying knee kick running turned looking I mean, I, just, I want him doing something dynamic and cool. He's just such a cool figure. He's too cool to be left in a vanilla pose. So definitely going to find something or some way to get him posed up. But yeah, just an awesome looking figure. If you can get your hands on it, please, please do yourself a favor and grab this figure. This is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend it. Um, I wouldn't call it a 10 out of 10. I would have loved to have seen some interchangeable parts, but I mean... There's not a whole lot more you could ask for on a figure like this, especially with a face sculpt like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you everybody who watched, and as always, peace, love, keep on collecting. I will see you guys next time, and uh, don't overspend to get this guy. He's really cool, but I don't know, man. 50 or 60 bucks? That's, that's a lot. So, I don't know. Here is your first, I mean, one of the first looks at him. I think he's a great figure. It's just like the standard Revan, um, but special. Different color, repaint. So, really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, once again, peace, love, keep on collecting, and I will see you guys next time.